Hey, YouTube Rando here. Uh, I wanted to share a couple of companies with you that I've dealt with for quite a few years now. One of them I've been dealing with for about six years. Uh, and this company right here I've been dealing with for about two years. And I buy my uh, stuff for my, well, that was for the mechanic shop at first with the first company. And we bought a lot of drums from them and uh, just a lot of different stuff that they sell that's really unique. Uh, and you can buy them in bulk is the cool thing is both companies deal with bulk. Uh, both companies have great customer service. Uh, I have a hundred stories with these guys that I could tell you that they've you know, bent over backwards to keep me happy. Uh, these guys right here, Uline, they sell a lot of shipping merchandise, you know, your boxes, so you can order all your boxes from them uh, if you do any kind of online sales or anything like that. Uh, but they sell some stuff that's, that's good for preppers as well. Uh, kind of dive into it here real quick. You can see they sell all the envelopes and stuff like that. Uh, and just to be clear, you'll pay 50 cents a piece for uh, envelopes from the store, you know, Walmart, whatever, or you can buy a hundred of them from bulk, in bulk, from these guys for ten bucks. Uh, so you're paying ten cents an envelope, you know, just, it really does save money in the long run, uh, and they sell all kinds of cool stuff. I'm fixing to be ordering uh, cases of a hundred of these uh, sandbags, and they're really fair price. Uh, you're looking at right around fifty dollars for a box of a hundred of the big ones and uh, you know you're gonna pay seventy five cents a piece dollar a piece for them online so uh... very very good prices on bulk they sell burlap rolls burlap sacks uh... if you have food storage that needs to breathe you know vegetables from the garden or whatever uh... stuff like that let's see the specific uh should have kind of marked them off uh, sections I wanted to turn to you. Uh, all your poly bags and stuff like that they sell. All your shipping labels, uh, all that kind of stuff they sell. They sell some outdoor stuff that's really neat as well. Just kind of pop to it. You can get uh, all kinds of zip ties, zip tie guns. Uh, if you use zip ties for anything, I use zip ties for everything. Uh, so works out well for me. They sell, like if you make your own lumber, they sell the metal bands and the machines to band your lumber together. You know, the big steel bands that come on a stack of lumber. Uh, like shop brooms, stuff like that. You can order the heads from them as well, shop backs. Uh, these portable blowers right here are awesome they will move some air. They're expensive. We use them as floor dryers uh, in our shop, or we did. Uh, they're expensive, but they work really well. They sell fans. I'm looking for the toilet paper. Okay, right here. Uh, you can get a case of 12 of these that are 2,000 feet long, so you're getting, what, 24,000 feet of toilet paper for $45. Uh, and you can just get the toilet paper by itself or you can buy the dispenser for an, an extra 20 bucks for the little one and I believe it's about 30, 35 for the bigger one, uh, 36 dollars. Um, but if you buy more, like if you were to buy, uh, let's see, three or more cases of the toilet paper, it's 41 dollars a case. So they knock off uh, four bucks, you know. And they sell the smaller rolls as well. Uh, Toilet paper is something that you can prep with very cheap because if it's a SHTF situation, you don't necessarily need the best toilet paper. You know, you just got to have something, uh, and that would work. They sell, you know, the hand dryers and stuff. Uh, all my shop rags. Let's see if I can find them right here. All my shop rags I get from them. All my cleaning supplies I get from them now. Uh, they sell, you know, big packs of microfiber towels. Uh, the big shop shop rags, uh, all kinds of cool stuff, and we we usually get the boxes like this at Walmart, uh, and we pay I think it's twenty dollars for a box. Well, right here, two boxes are fifteen fifteen dollars a piece, so thirty dollars. So you're saving ten dollars on what you would at Walmart, 
uh, and that'll pay for your shipping on it, you know. And you're at, you're still saving money because by the time you buy them from Walmart, you're paying taxes and fuel to get there and all that good stuff. Uh, we buy our Gojo from these guys. That big dispensers for them, or, but you can buy just the bottles of Gojo as well. Uh, don't ever buy the Gojo wipes and things suck. They don't work well. But you can buy the big huge bottles of Gojo. Uh, they used to sell the Purple Power. Uh, and that stuff works great. Uh, this is where we get our big mixes for our five gallons of Gatorade. We get them from here. You can get them for really cheap, and you can make five gallons of Gatorade a lot cheaper than you can buy five gallons of Gatorade anywhere. Uh, let's see. There's some outdoor stuff I wanted to show you. They're trash cans, the big heavy duty brute trash cans. Uh, these are actually rubber made, I believe, but the brute style that you spend at Lowe's, you'll spend $30, $40 on one they have for $25 a piece if you just buy one. Uh, if you buy a couple more, $22 a piece, so they're really cheap. Their hand carts are cool, and they make one for outdoors that I really want. Uh, they make outdoor uh, benches. We're looking into getting a, a picnic table, just a square picnic table like this in black. They are expensive, but that's the last picnic table you'll ever have to buy. You know, these are the same equipment they put in parks, so uh, they're very well made. You know, if the city's going to use them and they're going to spend that kind of money, they want them to last. Uh, these hand trucks, I want one for the yard. There it is right there. That would be the last wheelbarrow you'd ever have to buy. Pneumatic tires, you may have to replace the tires on it eventually, but as far as the... Uh, Cart itself, very good. The landscaping carts, they're expensive. You're going to pay, you know, $250 for this, and let's see, probably about $400. They're $250 for either one, so that's not bad. Uh, I buy my carts from them. I actually have one that's a toolbox, small plastic toolbox, and I paid a lot of money, but that thing is held up better than any steel toolbox I've ever seen. Uh, it's kind of like this one, except it has red carts all, or red drawers all the way down it. Uh, these hydraulic tables, I have one just for transmissions. You know, you pull a transmission out from under a car, and it's uh, uh, low to the ground on a transmission jack. You just take it and pick it up off the transmission jack and slide it over onto this table. And then you can use the jack, and it's a scissor lift, and it'll lift up the uh, transmission to working level so you're not breaking your back to do all that. Oh, and there's the toolbox. Uh, it's a really good little toolbox. I think I paid like $300 for it, but it'll hold like, I think it was like 750 pounds or something on top of it. Uh, so, you know, they got the big wagon carts, cool stuff for the yard. Uh, these, the shelving is excellent. Uh, I have one and I actually rigged it up with motor mounts and I have a motor sitting on it and it's never buckled, never, it's not flimsy at all. They sell wood shelving. Uh, you know, they sell shelves for 55 gallon drum storage here. So, you know, these are heavy duty shelves. You can see here, they got welding machines on there, compressors, uh, I don't know what the heck that is. It just looks like a big bin, but they're they're very good shelving for your uh, food storage stuff like that you would never have to worry about the shelf breaking like the cheap ones uh... the food boxes they sell to grocery stores you can buy them in bulk here uh, and they're not you know they're not super expensive but they're not super cheap as, as either uh, cleaning supplies shop vans uh, and here's a for instance this shop van right here we paid three thousand dollars for it uh, with shipping taxes and everything and we went to Lowe's it had probably been about a year since we had bought it went to Lowe's they had the same one sitting up at Lowe's same exact fan same exact model for two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents so it was three thousand dollars plus tax at Lowe's uh, I paid three thousand dollars for taxes and shipping to my house freight shipping uh, was right around three thousand dollars for the fan and this this thing's excellent man it'll lower uh, lower temperatures than by 20 degrees like that and all you're using is water uh, you can run it off a small generator about a thousand watt generator will run this thing all it is is a water pump to pump the water through it 
and a fan so it, it you know very low wattage works well as a SHTF uh, fan or air conditioner you can buy these the portable ACs but they uh, use a lot of power so I want to buy one of these and then they sell the uh, scaffolding you can build onto it and build a platform and I want to do my water storage my rain catchment system like that so these guys sell a lot of stuff that, that come in handy uh, here's all your 55 gallon drums you can buy 15 gallon drums for water storage you can buy the steel drums from them for food the cardboard drums for food uh, you can just buy all kinds of drums from them and I buy these let me find them here for my bug out bag for like uh, just storing shampoos lotions anything you can think of uh, fuels for the alcohol stove stuff like that and you can buy a case of these the biggest ones 24 of them for a dollar you can buy the small ones uh, 48 of them for 50 cents so these things are dirt cheap they come with caps work well you can buy the plastic ones as well uh, and actually I think the plastic ones are a little more expensive uh, so this is a good little company you can stock up on razor knives things like that uh, and you know they it it will work for your preps you know you can buy your stuff uh, I don't suggest you buy 55 gallon drums from them because if you do you're gonna spend a lot of money this is a US United States plastic corp so US plastics uh, I know a lot of you probably know these guys uh, they sell this is the perfect company for your water systems and I'll show you why they sell everything you know, you get your five-gallon buckets, your funnels, your your water storage inside. I really like that water storage rack right there. It looks really cool. Uh, but they sell like outdoor for your outdoor water catchment system stuff like that. Here you can buy the 55-gallon drums. You can buy the uh, drum pumps. I have a couple of those. I have an electric one, and I have two. Uh, manual and they both work well but I wanted to show you the they sell the big water tanks as well and their prices are very competitive to that of like a tractor uh, what is it uh, the truck truck and tractor place I can't remember the damn name of it but uh, their prices with shipping and taxes are, are very competitive with their prices uh, and they have they even have the in ground one but these are the above ground tanks there's the big wide low one uh, a lot of uh, cow farmers use these I've noticed uh, a lot of the fields we go through when we go to the land have these in them uh, these would be good for the house black uh, has the spigots built into it and they sell all the stuff to go with it uh, to do what you want with it here's some more above ground tanks smaller ones bigger ones these are the in-ground tanks that you bury. Uh, you can bury these as well. These are the in-grounds that you bury, though. I, I would like to have one of those. Uh, but they sell, like, all your valves, all your spigots, your hosing. Uh, you can get digital, uh, digital valves for them, electronic valves, manual valves. I mean, they sell everything. Here's the, some more of those pumps. I have the red ones like this for... Uh, thicker viscosity like oil uh, and they work great you know uh, they even sell the small ones for like four bucks and these are a lot better than the five or six dollar one you're going to get at harbor freight uh, which is more you know just less product for what you're buying uh, let's see. i know they had something else here's all your clear uh, fittings for your vinyl tubing all that stuff Oh, cleaning supplies, man. Then the other company, these guys sell tarps and all the tubing, like your swamp fan tubing I use or the garden tubing I use. Uh, but that other company, they sell cleaning supplies as well. And let me tell you, they're dirt cheap compared to what you pay in the stores for that stuff. Uh, we mop with Tide, uh, or we did in our mechanic shop. Uh, the plastic pallets, these are good for uh, uh, compost, compost heaps, stuff like that. Uh, but we mop with Tide uh, detergent. It actually helps cut the grease on the floor. 
uh, and uh, we don't pay near as much as we would in a grocery store or Walmart. You can see they sell all the shelves and stuff here as well. Uh, trash cans, bins. They sell the big totes that walk down, the big rubber made totes. Uh, I love these kinds of little screw bins. I have some that hang on the wall that are really neat for, uh, you know, screws or whatever, nails. They sell cookware here, a bunch of different kinds of cookware. They even sell t and that's my favorite uh, company when it comes to cookware. It's probably Uline that does it. Oh, Uline, they sell the respirators, uh, and those are NBC. They sell the work gloves, and what you do with that is you get a friend, or you know, you get three or four friends, and you each order two pair, and you end up paying, you know. $15 a pair for something that sells for $30 in the store and that's the mechanics gloves. I don't use them but I do use these uh, rubber gloves and they do sell those as well. I buy these black ones right here. Super thick industrial strength. Actually it's these right here. Uh, work very well. Very thick. Uh, and I pay $15 for a case of 100. Uh, 100 gloves and uh, they're a lot more if you tried to buy them from like a, a medical supply shop or something like that. I wanted to show you that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I should have marked all this stuff off as I was going through it earlier and finding what I wanted to show you guys. It's got to be right around here. Oh, your first aid kits. Your medicine, these are great. These are the travel medicines for uh, bug out bags. That stuff. They sell mylar bags, resealable, uh, or the heat, the ones that are, you know, you heat up and they seal Tyvek suits, stuff like that. Uh, these, for all you shooters out there, you can buy the big boxes of earplugs, you can get the formed kind, the uh, regular plugs. And they're really cheap, and you don't have to pay, you know, a dollar twenty-five for a set when you go to the gun range. And I really wanted to show you how cheap the uh, we buy the industrial boxes of Todd. Uh, I believe it's a hundred and sixty-four ounces per box, and it's double boxes, and we pay forty-five dollars, and it's easily, probably, I don't know, a hundred dollars worth of laundry detergent there easily so I'm not going to be able to find it but these uh, Uline is where we buy all our cleaning supplies from and it's a really good company to deal with you get office chairs from them all kinds of cool stuff uh, these right here outdoor propane storage I really want one of these uh, so we'll be